Well guys, another day, another trip with the Suron to the shop. This is literally the highlight of my day, man. Riding this thing back and forth from the shop every single day. It's always a blast. But today what we're going to be doing, I've seen a bunch of comments about what's going on with the GTR. Did you sell the GTR? I hope you got this amount of money. And yes, I did sell it. Um, I did end up getting, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't sell it at all. But I'm going to make a lot of people happy today because we're doing a certain thing that I have been neglecting. And it's going to make the car look so much better. I just never knew how to do it. And I still don't really know how to do it. But we're going to to figure it out today so let's go all right guys so we just got to the shop and we are looking at the gtr right now a lot of you thought i sold this i mean i definitely would have made a video if i sold this car because that would have been pretty good for views anyways we are going to be taking the door panels off taking the door handles off and completely stripping them down and we're going to get them painted i don't want to paint them because i want them to come out really good i'm going to clean culture the season opener february 1st you guys definitely better be there because this is my very first booth i'm bringing the gtr i'm bringing the sr20 roadster we're bringing the evo we're bringing the blueberry and i'm going to be having my very own booth i'm so excited i've been spending a ton of money preparing for this and everything and nick just gave me okay today so i'm officially going to be there we got a tent we're going to have so much new merch i have about five new stickers that are coming out two new air freshers are coming out and we have new shirts coming out as well um i'm not going to release anything on the site until then whoever's at the clean culture event is going to get first grabs at that and it's going to be cheaper so if you guys want to come hang out take a picture whatever you want to do i'll sign whatever you got you got some nipples you got some butts i'll sign whatever you want i really don't care but Right now, what we have to do is we need to open good old Precious, take that key out so it doesn't annoy the hell out of me. We need to take this door card off. I know you have to do that. And after that, it's just a guessing game. I have no idea how to do this. We're just gonna go. So let's take the door card off. All right, guys, so it wasn't actually that bad. We got the door handle off here, the AIDS handle. They are finally fixing this. So we have like the N1 bonnet lip right here. So right when I got the GTR, I decided that I thought it was a good idea to try to top it out. And I was going 140 down Mexico road and this thing just flew off so ever since then i never had a bonnet lip and i was always too embarrassed to talk about it because i just got the car and it flew off but at this point i don't really care we're gonna get that fixed and we're also taking like the door trim off because as you can see it's starting to show some chrome so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna sand that down we're gonna get that painted that's this piece right here that goes along the top of the door but as you can see, we have the whole door panel off right now. We're gonna leave it off until everything is done. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that side now. And oh yeah, we need to do the windshield wipers too. Cause as you can see, it's showing some chrome right there. So we're gonna pop those off as well. I would love to like fix this right now, but I'm kind of debating if I should just wait because do you have to pull the windshield out to do that? I, I think I should just wait to do that until like I have enough money to paint the whole car. We, do the, we should do that when we take the motor out to paint the back. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I think just for this car show, the little aesthetics like this will help a lot. So we're just going to stick to the basics, really it's easy, cheap nice. stuff. Huh? The car's already nice. Yeah, no, I mean, I love this car. I just haven't been driving it because I don't want to get it ruined or anything. And I just have so many other cars. That's, it's so hard to pick what to drive every day. So I mean, she's just been sitting. Alien and the old girl over here. Yeah, this is the best. You love this thing. I really want one. It's, re it's really hard not to love it. Like a lot of people were talking crap on the internet because it's such a high price point. But like, I mean, you ridden it. If you had the money right now, would you get one? 100% uh, buy one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... one. It's really, it, you don't spend money on gas, and two, you feel a little bit more free. Like you Do you feel, the world is your playground on this exactly. thing. Exactly. Like, I look forward to going home every day and coming here every day. Like, group sitting here, I just like coming and going, you know? <laughs> yeah. But we're going to get Courtney on this thing today. She's somewhere walking the dog. I'm curious to see her ride this, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to take that door panel off right now. Take that door handle off and call the painter. Dang, what do I see here, dude? Something in this super rare key. You're a Suron rider now. No. I know you don't want one. No. <laughs> you scared? It's terrified. in sport. You should you should start there. Yeah, terrified of this. Just go. The brakes are really good. Everything's super good. Just give it a little uh, gas and uh, it might backflip. Front rear? Yeah, left is back. Hopefully put your thumb just around you, the just side. use the back brake. Don't use the front. Yeah. So this, this yeah. Is yeah. Yeah, dude, get it! Woo! He low-key loves it. He likes riding them. Yeah. He just doesn't trust himself, which is like the worst thing to ever do on a two-wheel yeah. anything. <laughs> he would never daily it. No. No. no, no, no. 
he, he's a, he's a 240 guy at heart now. That and a and a quad rider. You know, I actually think he's a Miata guy at heart. I think we all are yeah, at the end are. of the day. Yeah. <laughs> First impressions, mate. I mean, it's definitely fun for sure, but I definitely hurt myself. In this yeah. Thing. I mean, we're probably all gonna hurt ourselves one point in our I life mean, on this like, thing. Um, I'm definitely your, gonna. The red pit bike was the first time I really like rode a like, pit bike like that. Yeah. That was sick, but that that was still like. This thing's probably gonna put me in the ground, dude. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First little nugget right here. Pop that off. Get that out of the way. We got a Phillips. Second nugget, she's missing her cap, which I'm a little salty about. But it's alright, because no one ever sees this anyways. Except you guys. Pop her in there. There's a nugget right on top. Take that, slide it up. Grab the good old Phillips. And spin her out. Drop her in. And then, there's about three on the bottom. One, a two, -hoo, a three. Three. We got a hidden nugget right here. Firmly grasp it, just grab that, and we got a nugget. Pop this sucker out. Now we gotta get that. I'm not gonna film it because I want two hands. And then we got another hidden one. All right, now we're just trying to slide her up just a little bit. Gotta take this sucker off. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh, this is hard with one hand. Oh, and then this just unplugs. Wanna boom, wanna bang. There we go. Passenger side door panel is off. So the door handle is actually really easy. There's one 10 mil there. One 10 mil, can you see it? Let's see. One 10 mil right there. And then there's those two rods to lock your door and then open the door. So we just gotta pop those off with two tabs, grab the two 10 mils, and then it's out. All right, so everything is out. The door handle is a little stuck. So all you do is you turn the key, unlock it, or lock it, whichever way it is, and turn the finagle. It's all about the finagling, really. Um, yeah, that goes up all the way, and then you can just kind of firmly grasp it out. Sick. All right, now that we got all that stuff off, I finally have convinced Courtney to get on the Surron. <laughs> Courtney, just hop on you it. Haven't convinced trust me, any, trust I'll me. I'll sit on it. I'll tell you what, if Here. you ride this right now, we're gonna get another electric bike so we can go I riding you together. I you were gonna say another dog. No, another dog, one's enough. So just take the kickstand off. No, this isn't good. No, it's fine, everything's fine. You're gonna turn the key. And this is the back brake, right? That's okay. to go. Don't whiskey throttle it. It's. I know, I've heard about that. Yeah, if you just, if you want to stop moving, let go of the throttle. It's just a twist. If you get nervous, don't go straight back because yeah. it's not going to slow down. Okay. But once you touch that brake, it completely shuts off the motor. So if you hit that brake, you're not, it's not going to keep going. I see. So just give it a little tiny, little tiny. Just feel it out. Yeah, oh. not bad. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, good, good. This is great. <laughs> See, even Chester is ruined for you. Oh, it's He's itching. like a little. Look at that. Put your feet on, put your feet on. Feet on. Yes. Go conquer the world, girl. The world is your playground. Now she's hooked. Now we're gonna get another one. Tell me you love it. Okay. Tell me you love it. I love this. How much fun is it? I now understand your obsession with this. <laughs> like that was, so much fun just doing that little ass loop. And you probably went what ten miles per hour? It goes <laughs> an, it goes an extra thirty five miles per hour faster than that. Get up there. Okay, if you want a little faster, just go like that. I'm not gonna. No, I'm just telling you. In sport mode, I'm yeah. Not sport ready. mode, it's gonna. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, she loves it. Don't crash. <laughs> Thing was expensive. <laughs> We're actually 100% gonna get a new one so she can ride it, Marcus can ride it, so we can have more people to enjoy it. We're not gonna get a Suron because obviously you guys know what that's all about. Um, I've been talking to a company, I'm really excited for this to come in and Courtney is gonna absolutely love it. I have to go all the way around because I was going too fast to go to that turn, <laughs> but I didn't want to hit the brake because I was like, you said the whole thing shuts off. Well, no, I'm it's just... Here like I'm gonna go like that. No, 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 the brake is safe. Just make sure you always hit the left one. Cause if you hit the front one in like the sand, you can wipe out. Cause that's the front brake. Oh, so you yeah, just always use the just, back Yeah, just keep to the back. The you're not, part. yeah, you're never gonna be 
in trouble to use the front. So okay. you're fine. Wow. So 10 out of 10, huh? 10 out of 10. You that love it. It's really fun and cool. So you think we should get another one? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. I'll work on it. All right, so now that I got Courtney hooked, we're back to working on the GTR. We just got to take that nut off and that nut off right there so we can pop the windshield wipers off because as you can see, they're a little easy as well. We just want to clean them up. What up? All right, guys, so everything is off now. I'm trying to do 99.9% .9 of the work myself because we did just have to make a huge purchase. No, it's not a Suron. It's nothing like that. It's actually for a car. You guys will find out next month. I just am planning out everything. But right now, we are sanding the door trim right here. This one is completely done. I have to do this one right now. Uh, this one wasn't too bad. There's not really any chrome showing, but I figured if we're painting one, we have to paint the other as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, sand this down. I talked to the painter. He said to do this and this at 320, to do the wipers at 320 as well, maybe 180 here, and then 320 it out. And then the door handles, use one of these DA things at 80 and start and just completely get all that crap off and make it smooth. I might just save the door handles for them because I'm probably gonna end up messing those up, but we're definitely gonna get all this stuff done tonight. So after being stubborn for 45 minutes, just using this with my bare hands, I finally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to AutoZone. I'm gonna get stick pads because I was looking for Velcro at first because these are Velcro. I got these for free. I ended up just spending 10 bucks on a set of this and we got everything so smooth, man. This paint shop is going to come out great so tomorrow when the paint shop is open we're going to go ahead we're going to primer it we'll let it settle i will take some 300 320 to 400 grit we'll let it lightly sand over it again and then we'll just paint it black these will be done as far as the door handles i'm going to go ahead i'm going to try to tackle those right now body shop is probably going to have to work on them a little more i know for certain these are good to go but the door handles need a lot of work but I'm just happy that by the end of the week, this thing will be looking great. I can't wait to see what the door handles look like. It's gonna look like a normal GTR. I mean, sooner or later, we will touch up on the paint and everything because we do have some clear coat fade and stuff like that, but baby steps right now. Uh, I wanna go to HP real quick. I wanna give you guys a little update on Marcus's 180. Dude's been grinding on it, killing it. He did end up blowing it up. I'll let him talk about it a little, so let's just go to HP. All right, so I came to HP real quick because Marcus is MIA. Marcus never posts on his YouTube channel. Why is that, Marcus Parks? Because it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but Marcus has been grinding on his 180. I, I think we should tell him what happened. So it spun a bearing. I was low on oil and I was monging and I didn't have <laughs> the proper amount of oil in the car and it spun a bearing. Good old rod knock. Here we go and we got all the parts and everything to put this thing back together, but sadly the, the girdle was not stored properly it bent when everything happened inside so i have to take the girdle off tomorrow bring it to tc have it decked and then i can put it on and then it should be able to go together everything perfectly so fine. you're rebuilding this whole thing yeah i just a lot of upgrades too so now we're gonna have rocker retainers so that i can actually rev and not have to worry about really floating a valve yeah it's still gonna float but it's less of a chance with that arp head studs arp main studs all new gasket kit bigger oil new. pan bearings for everything yeah i have a uh the bigger oil pan and it has the flaps in it so the oil slosh isn't real and then next thing we're gonna need is some turbo upgrades yeah get more power. got a nice polished crank so marcus actually had his stock crank but what was it, it was like bent or something no so it spun on three okay which is right there no right there all right and they said yeah, that right the there. spec yeah when they they said the spec was going to be too bad if they polished it so they said i couldn't use it so i actually had my sr engine so a long time ago we took my blown up sr apart we brought it to the machine shop and everything and we were pricing out the whole build it was going to be somewhere around like five grand and at the time and still now i was like do i really want to spend that right now the car runs phenomenal it makes over 400 horsepower yes we might be on borrowed time but right now i think it's just the right move to spend money elsewhere and not there so my sr has been sitting there so when i heard his crank was bad i went ahead and i gave marcus my crank that was already there so they got it polished and everything and this sucker is looking brand new i don't think you can really see anymore now the bearings uh, the pistons are all in and all the caps are on so it's yeah. all together on the bottom end it's just you should be able to spin this freely and you can't because of the girdles bat yeah okay so it's torqued down and everything's torqued and it doesn't spin freely so it's not good to put in so right now it is i'm guessing january 20th you want this done before clean culture yeah which is on the first of february which is possible as long as you can get that girdle to um tc yeah you'll be good to go 
as Roberto said, if I do all this stuff tomorrow, we should be able to have 90% of this done tomorrow night. Yeah, and as you guys know, it's going in his 180. He did a whole wire tuck and everything to this bad girl, so I can't wait to see this thing back in action. Yeah, me too. So I did the wire tuck that used to be around here, around the strut towers. I have it running through the fender now, all down in through here. And uh, also the fuse box right is here. just right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. So that it's super there. clean. This one, I had to extend a bunch of stuff. So this is the alternator harness and everything. I extended everything. All right. It's kind of just like here right now. I'm gonna zip tie all of it off to the side. And then I put all of it through the- Yeah, um, that looks so good. Back back there. I have a new power steering reservoir. And then my coolant reservoir used to go right here, but I'm getting it to fit in the back back here. Because once we do all the angle mods and everything, I'm gonna have to tub all this because it's not gonna fit. Yeah, so pretty much your main goal is to have no wires and just a fresh looking engine bay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this thing's gonna be fucking awesome. So. Oh yeah, and you got a nice new intercooler at my shop waiting. I do, I do. I wanna get the end caps painted. Okay. And then I, I would really like to get it, what is it, anodized black. Yep. And I haven't had a price on it yet, but it's probably gonna be expensive, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But I like the stealth look of like a black intercooler slut. Like nobody knows that you're front mount. Yeah. Everyone go give Marcus a follow on Instagram. DM him and tell him to get this car ready for clean culture. Because they have a burnout pit. If this makes it, are you going to do the burnout pit? Honestly, I'm probably not going to do it with this. I'll do it with that. <laughs> How are you going to get both cars there? I don't know. We'll <laughs> I don't know. I think... The house isn't too far from there. I think if you have this car here, I think you're going to want to do the burnout. I think in the moment it's going to happen, but hopefully we see this thing at Clean Culture. I just gone to give you guys a little update because Marcus is always MIA, and I know you guys like to see Marcus. Yeah. So here it is, man. Hopefully you have nine days, nine days and counting. You think you got it? Possibly. Yeah. I'm rooting for you. So I took some 80 grit to this. Um, I don't really know how much they want me to go. Like obviously I still have to get some right here, but I just wanted to smooth it out and see what it fe felt like. I think we're just gonna leave these for tonight just because I'm not sure what they really want me to do with it. I mean, this door handle is absolutely mangled, so I wanna make sure it comes out perfect. So they're open tomorrow morning, so I'll just go ask them and we can finish that tomorrow. So guys, I think we're gonna call it quits here for today. Today was Sunday, it was kind of just a chill day and I just wanted to get some stuff done for the GTR. Pretty excited for tomorrow to start priming all this stuff and we can really get the GTR back on the road again. Um, I did just cut the NB cat out. Um, there was a flange here, there was no flange here, so I figured I would just cut it. I saved a little of the flange, so if I ever needed that again, or for some reason, you can weld something to that. But we got three cats here today. I was gonna get rid of them today, but I forgot it was Sunday, and no one was gonna come pick them up. So we're really gonna find out tomorrow how much we actually make from those. But if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Let me know what you think about the GTR door handles. Everyone has been bugging me to do this. We're finally doing it, and I can't be more happy about it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and peace out.